Welcome to Fox 33 News First at 9. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. A housing program by the city of Shreveport opens up questions into who owns the majority of rental properties in the city. In tonight's top story, the city of Shreveport has a fairly new program where they want rental owners to register their properties with a deadline approaching. City officials say only a small fraction have actually signed up, but the reason behind this program goes beyond city limits. City officials say a large portion of the rental housing sector of Shreveport is owned by out of state and foreign businesses and individuals. There was no real way to get in touch with these out of town landlords. This is why the city created the residential rental registration program passed by city council in December of 2022. When something goes wrong, we could immediately, our property standards could immediately get in touch with them. He says the city did not have much data on the actual numbers of rental properties. Calls kept coming into property standards from tenants reporting problems with their living conditions, while violation notices to landlords were not being received. That's why we were requesting that there's a local person that's designated to answer any questions that we may have about their properties. He says it is a somewhat unique situation for the city because not all cities have a rental registration program due to cost and difficulties getting owners to register, but Shreveport City Code already provided for a similar process. It's not widespread around the country. So far, only 200 properties have complied out of the 33,000 identified as active by the city. The new regulations also allow renters to report substandard housing conditions for property standards to investigate. In many instances, there is abuse by tenants. Many times, it's not just the landlord that are problem, and that's why we're trying to get the word out positively that we're not coming after landlords. He says the goal is to bring more transparency and accountability. It's far from government overreach. It's just trying to establish a positive relationship with both tenants and landlords to ensure that every citizen of the city of Shreveport has a quality place to live. And a failure to register could come with penalties or fines. However, Clark says they really do not want to have to enforce these consequences. The registration form is on the city's website. The deadline is December.